it's around 10 a.m. and I just had kind of a slower morning um but I'm still looking forward to today. So today we are going to be talking about self-doubt. Let's go to the gym and then we will chat after. <laughs> I think sometimes self-doubt can like take over what you're trying to manifest. It goes in phases for me, I have to say, and I feel really good now that I, you know, went to the gym and kind of sweated and just cleared my mind from some of the anxiety. I think in your self-doubt, you just have to acknowledge that it's self-doubt. It's not the truth. Um, that's easier said than done, but definitely like, just deciding some things you're gonna do and just go and do them. I'll share more tools on dealing with self-doubt in later videos, but it's something that we just need to kind of acknowledge and move on from. One way I'm doing that right now is I'm focusing on my life and my life only. Um, I'm definitely an advocate for always supporting the people around you, supporting your friends, whether that means outwardly affirming them or just giving them your love through your energy. When you have self-doubt, sometimes you can be subconsciously comparing yourself. It's a human thing, but I think create a routine that will have you really focusing on, okay, what is my goal here? So it will help you stay more focused and still celebrate others, but focus in on like, okay, coming back to my goal, coming back to where I see myself and going from there. Obviously, I think it's really healthy to be inspired by others. It means you're a supportive person. <laughs> it means you're not narcissistic about things, but I think um, it's definitely, you know, when you have reoccurring self-doubt to acknowledge it and then start to maybe build some boundaries around leaving that self-doubt behind and just focusing on the tools that help you get out of self-doubt. Lately, I have also been reconnecting with friends and family. If you have a friend or a family member that you haven't reconnected with for a while and you feel good around them, I really recommend doing that. Um, I got together with my brother and it just kind of reminded me like who I'm related to and seeing who I'm related to and seeing like, oh, I'm inspired by them can allow you to see it in yourself and then once again, focus on yourself, focus on like what you bring to a community or a collaboration effort or whatever it is. That's my little talk about self-doubt. Um, you're not the only one that feels it. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday right now. I just made a TikTok and now I'm gonna get back to my job searching stuff. So at the moment I am doing a LinkedIn course and this is a certification prep for the CHRM CP exam, which is for people in HR. And it just kind of goes over a lot of what that entails. And so I'm looking into HR roles. I'm looking into not really getting certified in it um, at the moment because I don't believe I need to, but I am looking to understand more terms in HR and just understand like what the field really entails. It's actually a really interesting course and I'm taking notes. We're making this official. <laughs> and so I'm excited about it. Um, it's kind of inspiring me to just learn more things now. You know, honestly, quitting my job has just, I think I said in week two that I am valuing my time more. And I think, you know, I got back from Texas on Monday and I've been in a little bit of a lull this morning, but I didn't let it take over, luckily. I just was like, okay, I really need to sleep two more hours. So I did that because I had planned to wake up at seven and I then woke up at nine and then laid in bed for a second. But you know what? I don't have anyone to report to at the moment. I report to myself. And so I'm giving myself that space. And it feels odd because usually I would beat myself up about this. And I mean, not to say like I didn't at all either. Like I kind of did, but just to know 
that it's okay to not be on the schedule that you thought you were gonna be on. I think I definitely, when I come back to my home um, from vacation or from a visit or whatever it is, I tend to like run into the priorities and like where I wanna see myself and like go, go, go. But really, you know, I needed some sleep, so I got that and I feel a lot better than if I had forced myself to just go, go, go at 7 a.m. With this change in routine and I mean, my priority is job searching, right? So I have a lot of like open windows. So I just have to structure my time in a way that is going to um, be actually very helpful for me. I think when we have open schedules, it can just allow for like dabbling on our phone. I do have some exciting videos coming up. I really love doing this I Quit My Job series. I think it's been a very different journey than I could have thought. And I also am so excited. For any of you who are looking to quit their job, I think it's such a big opportunity. I think you should only look at changing your job as an opportunity. Um, yes, it's scary. Yes, you know, I've had my moments and probably will still continue to, but that's life. And it's just about showing life like what you want. And I really want a remote hybrid role um, in HR and I want to learn about more HR practices. I want to learn that world. I want to learn in a new company. I can feel like a lot of opportunity is coming. I also think that's what happens when you quit something that you're not aligning with and you get over a lot of the what ifs about when you quit your job because quitting your job is not the end all. Um, of course, you know, jobs are our way of being financially stable and, you know, having material things or whatever you want. Like, we all have our own, we all have our own goals with that. But I think for me right now, it's just about being happy in my routine. Um, so, yeah. Yesterday, I had coffee with my boss and I was giving her some of my materials from my old job or returning them and it was just a very sweet time to reconnect. It just was a great reconnection because I was like, I'm still able to be friends with you. I'm still able to like learn from you and be in contact because I really love her energy and I see a lot of myself in her and I think vice versa. I thought that was a really sweet moment. Um, not a lot of people get to meet up with their manager or their boss after they leave a job. Sometimes that fizzles. Um, and that's too bad because to me in business, unless it's like actually such a terrible thing and they really do you wrong or whatever, like I don't like to burn bridges. Um, I think it's just in my nature that I don't need to. I'm more talking about professional bridges because you really never know like what someone might be able to collaborate on with or people change as well. I think I just have like a lot of faith in people, um, which, you know, doesn't always serve me, but that's kind of how I'm wired. So anyway, I think professionally burning bridges is something I don't normally do. Um, and it's served me well. I've been able to reconnect with even professional contacts that have become my friends, even after something that kind of fizzled and for good reason or for good for the good of life because I really enjoyed like the friendship that I'm thinking about. I'm gonna get on with my course now, but I'll update you in a little bit. When I returned from Texas, I was getting used to my environment again and I knew that I had to create a new routine. I didn't know what to expect of this week, but it's, literally been a few days and I feel much renewed and I feel like I have got back into my flow. I think in creating a routine, I just don't have a structure at the moment and I kind of accepted that, but I definitely think gym classes are helping me structure things and also um, having like a club that I belong to helps. 
Um, I'm also getting a desk. I think I mentioned that in week two. The desk is gonna go in a corner in my room and I'm really excited about it. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the whole delivery situation but it's on its way soon and i'm really excited i think this week it was all about doing that linkedin course and that linkedin learning course definitely made me see more potential it informed me of what kind of position i was going to be involved in and that's really important to note when you are changing roles i also utilize youtube so I found a few people who are in HR. I think noting transferable skills are probably the most important thing for your resume. That's just like a little tip. Um, but I can make another video and I probably will about like how to change fields and everything because through this process is definitely informed me of a lot. I'm just excited to share the whole journey with you and also the manifesting part because a lot of things are manifesting which you can go watch the vision board video and I share some of my manifestations which I'm very excited about and it's also a little bit daunting because it's only March and so many things are in the works like I can just feel it like I'm just leading with that trying not to overthink it just put in the work. In one of the weeks, either week one or week two, I was talking about um, wanting a remote role and I think what I want now is a hybrid role, so the option to be remote, but I definitely want um, some like in-person interactions because I think being fully remote sounds great and then when you're in it, it's a bit like, okay, I need to change the scenery and then you have to figure out what that is and then you have to figure out internet and all of that. But overall, I'm just really excited to be learning new skills and signing up for LinkedIn Premium was one of the biggest game changers of my job search. Maybe that's a given now, but to me, I think that's so great in focusing like your time on one platform that has a lot of opportunities within it. And then you can add your classes onto your profile, which I think if I was like a recruiter, I would be looking at that because it shows you are actively learning. Even if, you know, you're still reading on the side and stuff, it's just like credibility for roles, especially if you're trying to transfer into another department or gain a skill set, whatever that is for you. I think in week four, I'm going to have more of a routine. We're going to see, but we're definitely going to be going to the gym still. Maybe we'll have our desk in week four. I just had a lot more optimism these past couple days from the tips I've just given. And it's helped me see more clearly in myself and, you know, what life has to offer. So I will see you in week four. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.